What's up guys? In this video, I am going to tell you about the one food that you need to eat to lose weight and to have lots of energy for your workouts and essentially what you should be eating on your snake diet refeed. Like this is like a miracle food that, um, you know, is good for everybody and doesn't get a lot of love. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Um, but first, uh, if you guys like you know, fitness videos, fasting videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out as many videos as I can about general health, maybe some non-mainstream advice that you generally don't hear on other uh, you know, YouTube channels or the mainstream media. Stuff that I personally think is very valuable that I've gained over, I don't know, 20 years of working out when I'm old. Okay, so subscribe. And what is this magical food? Oatmeal. All right, now, what is oatmeal? Okay, because oatmeal is not what you think. Oatmeal is not what they give you in those little packets in the Quaker oatmeal box with the cinnamon flavor or the blueberry flavor or whatever. Oatmeal is not muesli, okay? Oatmeal is not putting oats in a bowl with yogurt and raspberries and cut up bananas and making yourself this like little fake desserts that you eat and you think because it contains some oats, it's healthy. No, that's not oatmeal, all right? That's gonna make you fat. It's not gonna do anything for anybody. Like, it's literally like vegan cope because you aren't eating like real food and you just want to like treat yourself because you hate your life and you're not eating like actual food. What is oatmeal really and how do you eat it to lose weight and have like unlimited energy basically for your workouts? Oatmeal is this, all right? Very complex recipe. Make sure you write this down. Oats and water. That's it. That's oatmeal. Now, if you are working out, okay, you can spoil yourself and you can add some eggs. Okay, so what I do now, and this is what I was doing about two months ago when I was jacked, is I would not eat for however many days, two days, one day, three days. And then when I would refeed, I would refeed on oats water and I would have maybe six, eight, or ten eggs with the yolks, with the whites, everything. Put it all in a pan, cook it up, and uh, put some Frank's Red Hot Sauce on there. Amazing. Okay, now I like the taste. I'm used to the consistency. Why is it good, right? So practically speaking, like forget about all the vitamins and nutrients and like all that stuff that like, I don't have a laboratory in my, where I live, like I'm not like sitting there like analyzing the nutrient pilot profile of the oatmeal. I care more about the practical aspects of it. Like what is it actually doing for me? And is that good enough for me to continue doing it, right? That's kind of how I approach everything in my life, right? I don't care so much about like, well this magazine says it's good or this group of people likes it. Like, does it work for me? Am I getting a good result with this? Yes? Okay, I keep doing it. If not, the whole world could love it. It's not for me, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, but that's just me. I encourage you to adopt that attitude as well. So, what are my experiences with oatmeal? Number one, you're very, uh, you, don't, you don't get, um, it just goes through you, right? It goes right through you. You don't like get stopped up um, and it's very good to just like clean you out, okay? It's got a lot of fiber. And I know on YouTube in like the carnivore slash like new age nutrition community, they say like, oh, fiber is bad. Like it's so bad for you. Fiber, there's all this bad stuff. Like don't eat fiber, dude. And that's fine, but like I said, if it works, it's good, all right? If it works, it's good. If some people on the internet say it's not good because science, and it works, like actually works, then it's fine. All right, so being regular is, is a good thing, okay? Whereas if you were to eat, you know, obviously processed foods or uh, foods with a lot of oil, it tends to kind of knot your stomach up, which is not good. Okay, that's number one. Put that aside, because we don't really, you know, that's not the main benefit. I would say the main benefit um, is that you have way more energy for training, okay? Now, for me especially, because I have recently like upped the intensity of my like working out-ness, I guess you could say, because I am training for a you know Muay Thai fight where they're gonna put me in the ring with like, I don't even know who, 
and it could be like some guys had like 50 fights, totally like whoop my ass if I'm not in the best shape of my life. So I want to step it up and I want to train twice a day. And for me, training means running to my gym, which is three and a half kilometers to get to the gym. Three and a half kilometers back, doing that twice a day, because I come to the gym twice a day, and then training at the gym twice, you know, a couple rounds on the heavy bag, a couple rounds with the trainer, maybe a couple rounds of sparring, maybe 15, 20 minutes jump rope, like extremely high demands on my body for um, what I, you know, what I'm training for. So in my experience, you know, I've tried the carnivore thing, I've tried eating only meat, don't have a lot of energy, okay? Yeah, meat supposedly like turns into glucose, so they say, but like, show me one, you know, mixed martial artist athlete, or show me one boxer who doesn't eat carbs. Like, show me one who only eats meat. Like, literally, show me one, a single one. Never heard of it, okay? Um, so yeah, it's been very good for me. That plus the eggs I think is good. And um, yeah, that's number one. Number two, you just, you just lose weight. Like, I don't know if it's the fiber that fills you up, yet you're still getting um, like the uh, low GI carbs that you can burn over time. So you're still, you don't feel deprived, right? Because let's say you have like a lot of fruit, right? Or I don't know what else fills you up. I guess fruit or vegetables is the best example. Like I can eat a giant salad and a bunch of fruit and my stomach will be full, but I'll still be hungry because I just won't like, I won't have the nutrients in my body. Like it's a lot of fiber and it's a lot of water, right? Which is why I think fiber gets a bad rap. Because normally when people think fiber, they think like, okay, you're eating vegetables and fruits, which have maybe like a little bit of calories. You have like fructose, which gets burned up very fast. Or you have just like fiber with water, which is essentially what vegetables are. Virtually no nutritional value. But when people think fiber, they don't think about oatmeal. They don't think about potatoes, right? They think about just like, potatoes have fiber? I don't know. They don't think about oatmeal, is the point. So, um, yeah, I think that's kind of like a mistake that people make. Uh, now, the third thing is that, let's say you're fasting, right? Let's say you're fasting and you refeed on oatmeal and eggs, like I was talking about earlier. You are going to lose so much weight so fast, and you're not even going to, um, like, you'll be full, but you won't have that, like, bloated feeling in your stomach. Which is one of the problems that I had when I was doing carnivore, is that I would eat a lot of meat, and I would still like I would still want to eat more, but I would be full. I would just feel like like it wasn't an enjoyable experience to eat all that meat. At first, it was kind of cool, like whoa, I just ate you know twenty dollars worth of meat. Well, this is so cool. But then you're like, ah, but you know what? I actually still kind of want something else. I don't know, chips or something. Whatever. I wanted a snack. Is the point. Um, so anyway, how do you make the oatmeal? How do you make my masterful recipe? Take some oats. Take some water, mix them in a pan. I put some olive oil in there too, because I have the C60 olive oil, the fullerenes. I don't know if I, I have another video about it, but basically like this like special form of like carbon. I know it sounds weird. It's a supplement that I mix with olive oil. Uh, mix that up, put maybe six to 10 eggs, depending on how much I've been working out in the past day or two since the last time I ate. Mix it up, cook it up, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, eat it and then afterwards what I'll do you know if I'm still hungry is I'll go get like a fruit shake or maybe like some peanuts or something because I'm trying to eat natural foods it's like my, my thing right now cool so that is the magical food which you guys should definitely incorporate into your meal in the near future like if you only eat oatmeal for a week I guarantee you, you'll be dropping lots of weight and you'll feel pretty amazing cool so make sure you guys uh, like if you have any questions leave a comment Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I have another channel for internet marketing, which you guys should subscribe to as well. Also, I'm considering doing um, like fitness coaching, virtual coaching, I guess. Uh, so if you're interested in getting some like personalized help from me where I will tell you exactly what to do to lose weight or you know get muscles or whatever it is that you want, I'll put a link in the description where you can set up a call with me and we can hop on the phone and chat and um, you know, your life will be complete. Cool? All right, peace.